So that was immediately after a good part of my hometown had been destroyed by Hurricane Andrew. And when I first arrived on campus, I was my thoughts were still back home. I really had not wanted to come, but my parents insisted now is the time to go. And when I got here, I met so many friends, so many professors, so many people who just encouraged me along the way, helped me grow up into um, an adult, um, especially spiritually. And I'm so, so thankful for my time at Clearwater Christian College. I graduated with a degree in biology and a minor in music, and while I was here, I was had the opportunity to be involved in so many different activities and choirs and ensembles and learned so much during my time. Um, after I left um, Clearwater Christian College, I went to the University of Florida, and um, after five years there, I graduated with a PhD in microbiology and cell science. 
Um, my PhD was on proteasomes and ATPases in archaeal systems. If any of you are interested, you can talk to me afterwards. <laughs> After I completed my dissertation, I then moved on to Durham, North Carolina, where I did a postdoctoral research. I was a postdoctoral research associate in, at Duke University, and I was there for several years. And while I was there, the Lord started to work on my heart. He had been working on my heart for years, ever since I was very young. But he really started to work on my heart and tell me, this time you cannot say no. I want you to serve me overseas. I want you to go overseas. And so I have been in East Asia for the last three years. And um, I just came back about a month ago, and I'm so thankful that the Lord worked it out so I could be here for choir reunion and be here to share with all of you. And I go back in about a month, so um, the Lord has just been so good to me. Um, as I was coming over the causeway, driving in, it just reminded me so much of my time here and how the beautiful surroundings we have here. Um, the area where I live in East Asia, the sun shines maybe once or twice every two months. <laughs> and so just seeing the blue sky and the blue ocean, I don't see the ocean there either, hardly ever, and it just reminded me of God's amazing creation. Um, I, I've been working on a team there that's serving in an area that um, had a major disaster two years ago where almost 100,000 people passed away. And the nature there has been destroyed. There's so many buildings, so many people's lives who've been destroyed. And so for us to go, go there and be able to share God's love with them through what we do and through what we say, um, it, it means a lot to, to me personally. The, the education I had here at Clearwater Christian College was the foundation for that. And, and when, I, when I was thinking about what, if I can think of one thing that I learned from Clearwater Christian College, what is the most important thing? And it's hard because I learned so, so much. But if I could just use one word to describe um, the most important lesson I learned at Clearwater Christian College, it would be worship. And I was taught to worship here. I was taught to worship him in Dr. Spott's Old Testament survey class, in Coach Carver's New Testament survey class. I was taught to worship him through my time in the choir with Mr. Billingsley and serving on the ensembles, Mrs. Mrs. Elaine Johnson teaching us. And then I was also taught to share that with, with others through whatever my gifts were, if it was playing the piano or singing or my words, whatever I could use to show people my worship of God and share that with others. And then I also learned it in my biology classes through Dr. Gary Parker and Dr. Jonathan Henry, showing me how I can worship God through my research, how I can worship God through walking through the Grand Canyon or on a scuba trip learning, learning about what's in the ocean. And then also when I started my research at the University of Florida and then went on to Duke University, the Lord was able to use my words to share my worship of him with other scientists I knew. And it was while I was in Durham that I started to actually interact with people from overseas who had come here. And they, they, they couldn't fathom someone who had an advanced degree in science actually believing in a creator. And it was here at Clearwater, through my science classes, through so many of the professors here, so many of the people who just ran, the, the thread of worship ran through all of their classes and everything they said and everything they did. And I'm just so, so thankful for that. I'm so thankful for the education I had here and the way the Lord has used that um, in my life. One thing that, one, one major thing now I'm learning about worshiping is worshiping Him even in my infirmities, even when I feel weak. I feel like what I'm doing now at times, I'm not using my gifts as much as I would like. My language is not quite there yet. There's so many times that I'm learning I need to worship him in this, too. And so I can say with Paul, where, where um, Jesus said to him, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my grace is made perfect in weakness. I will therefore um, gladly glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon, you, uh, may, may rest upon me. And um, I'm just so thankful again for what I've learned here at Clearwater, for all of you who taught me. And um, I just pray that God will bless you very much.